Toy Reviews, we are here with the 1-6 version of Lord of the Rings Gothmog by Osmus Studios. Forgive me if I butchered that, if I didn't say it right, but I pronounce it as Osmus Studios, A-S-M-U-S. Um, this is their rendition of Gothmog. Uh, very, very excited to get this review out there to everybody. I think it's a very underrated, um, probably not very well-known figure to the community. So I think that we wanted to get this up front under a good light, show everybody how amazing this figure actually is, and get the excitement out there. Gothmog, let's dive right in. Alright, so uh, one thing I do like to get out of the way, all my reviews are completely unscripted, I wing everything, this is me kind of just looking at it, talking to you, so forgive me if anything's out of order, or not particular to authenticity of what Gothmod actually looks like, I'm kind of just looking at this figure in front of me, telling you what I think and how cool it is. Uh, maybe I should mention that this is the... I don't know if I should say second version of Gothmog. This is one that I picked up during the festival. I, I saw that the weathering was a little different, and there are some updates to him. Um, but as far as I know, the body and most of it is the same. Again, there's just more some updates to the painting and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know how how we want to do this. For starters, it looks amazing. Visually, it's stunning. Dunning. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Lord of the Rings. Um, what they've done here is uh, borderline realistic looking under a perfect camera light. Um, but some of the things I'm going to jump right into are the negative of it is that when I picked him up, you can just kind of feel and forgive me for saying this, uh, Osmo Studios, because I love you guys. I'm going to buy everything you come up with. It just didn't have the quality that I, I kind of was looking forward to. You can feel that the body and stuff is um, not appropriate to one another. And when I say that is, um, you know, without skipping and segueing inappropriately, stuff like the accessories of uh, this here, this hammer, bat, whatever you want to call it, spike thing, it's super heavy. It, it actually bogged down the hand to where the joints couldn't properly hold this. <laughs> which is another good example is that um this thing kept falling apart here too so i don't know why the hell they wouldn't just put this in two pieces well, i guess because you got to plug it through the hand but there had have been a bit a better way to do that but um as soon as i plug this onto the guy this falls off every single time here it makes no sense for me to glue it or anything because the way they've uh, approached this is that if it's glued, then I really can't get this out of his hand. So oddly enough, and sadly, I don't even display him with this very cool, heavy, weathered looking um, weapon here, um, primarily because the joint here can't withhold it. It falls down every single time, and then this little tip here falls off. I have such a large collection that I'm nervous that if this little, um, you know, tiny piece here falls off, that it'll fall off and I'll never notice. So I've just been very uh, anal in particular as far as keeping this in the case as is. Um, but yeah, big, big negative there. The other piece is that the hand here, it actually falls off so terribly that I've had to keep this whole looking hand, which actually holds this weapon here. Um, as opposed to a normal fisted hand that they come with. The reason being is that the fisted hand just keeps falling off. Um, really sad to say, it just keeps falling off, and this whole hand does stay in place better. So I can kind of tilt it and put it at an angle so you can't see that there's just this see-through hole like he's uh, you know, looking at something at a distance, like a pirate or something. But um, yeah, really disappointed with the quality of the hand and the body there. Um, but as far as what we're looking at, it looks absolutely amazing. One thing that I always do like to know comes with a stand. Bang! Thank you. Comes with a stand. Amazing. And this was 150 shipped. I'm pretty sure I would go as far as saying this is the best deal I've ever gotten in my life 
$150 shipped for an authentic Lord of the Ring licensed 1-6 um, orc figure. Uh, I really don't think I could ask for a better price point. So when I'm talking some of the downfalls, it's just me being blunt. But when we want to pair it with, uh, you know, what it came with, um, it's really phenomenal. So as we switch to the back here, you can see we have actual um, real f uh, feeling hair here. Um, now head sculpt on this guy, I would go as far as saying probably one of the best you will ever see. One thing that is not going to be properly represented through camera here um, that I will point out, um, the mouth and teeth and eye areas have a kind of resin, um, you know, shiny gloss look to them that gives it this really creepy, um, realistic look. So again, the detail on the head sculpt, um, I would go as far as saying top 20, top 30, you know, best I've ever seen. It is really an incredibly cool head sculpt. I'll say part of the reason I'm always biased to these type of head sculpts is it's so rare. Um, everything is just a very generic, either Iron Man, Spider-Man, or a character from a movie head sculpt. For us to get an actual orc from a movie like this and sculpted to this perfection, um, man, it, it, it's just kind of a rare feat. So I'm very excited to have this on hand for an appropriate price versus four to five hundred dollars, which I guarantee you he's going to skyrocket back up to. Um, but man, kudos! They did a phenomenal job with the head sculpt. So I kind of wanted to just solo show off the accessory that Goth Mog came with as well. Um, pretty cool. It has some weight to it. I always like to say that it's not just some cheap hollow um, piece of plastic. It has some weight to it, which actually added to the shipping value in my opinion. So um, kudos to them for including this. Basically just a dead uh, soldier that you can display with your goth mod with some guts and stuff. Um, the only thing I will say is... Um, forgive me always for being so blunt. The paint job's not really good. It's It looks kind of just like a, I don't know, Todd McFarlane figure that on your shelf type of paint job to it. Um, but I would probably pay $150 shipped, if not more, just for Gothmog himself. So I always like to add that let's consider this more of a bonus, um, not a dig to what they've included. I think this is really cool that they've included this. Um, Something I just more just keep at the base of him. But yeah, pretty cool free... I don't want to say free. That was stupid I said that. But pretty cool accessory that they did include this. So I guess other than that, you know, kind of just zooming in on some of the other real benefits is that, um, you know, the weathering. We have some really cool tailoring. Uh, actual cloth, hair, phenomenal head sculpt. I can't think of much wrong with the figure. Um, the only things that I would hone in again is the body that they've used is just terrible. It's got awful. Um, the joints aren't really good. The hand fell off pretty quickly. This arm is, I don't want to say useless, but there's not much you can do to it other than the pose of this, um, deformed, damaged hand. And the last thing that I would say is these straps that are all over him, yes, they're weathered. But I can already tell that they're going to fall apart and deteriorate very, very soon. And I don't even live in a, a climate with, uh, you know, heavy humidity. So um, perhaps they should have used a cloth or something versus an actual leather material and then applied a paint to it. That's just my opinion. Um, but that's just really honing in on some of the things uh, other than the positive, which is this thing's amazing one of the highlights of my collection um it really it really sets forth to say that i hope osmus puts some more orc figures out there i heard um that the one of the leaders is coming soon so cross our fingers we'll see more um, but anything by these guys in the orc category is now up in the three to four hundred dollar range so it shows the quality and the kind of the want and desire of it um, as I said more in the beginning, I just think that there's not enough awareness around these guys and the quality of their figures, um, or perhaps Lord of the Rings just isn't as popular as I think it is, but, um, yeah, this is an amazing sh figure to have on your shelf. Highly suggest it. Before we sign off, um, final review on our goth mog. <sighs> it's a tough one because we have some poor quality issues on this guy. But as I look at it, it really, you know, strikes me um, with a lot of wow factor. Um, 
we're going to go with an 8.4 out of 10. Uh, Gothmog is up there and one of the best figures that you could have in your collection. I guarantee you, if you have them, people are going through your house. It's going to get a lot of attention and eyes. 8.4 out of 10. Osma Studios. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'll give you a slap or a pie to the face for me. I apologize. Osma Studios. 1-6 Gothmog. Lord of the Rings. Signing off. Burn! Burn! Huh? Huh?